get these crows are acting this is weird this is weird and I don't want to touch anything yet yet I would like everybody to applaud my caution because this is not my usual MO <laughs> Morgana nods vigorously okay. oh look yes someone actually did okay. this <laughs> All right. I get it as an artificer nice okay um when you look around, um, you get the faint impression of magic on the arrow. Uh, it appears to have some kind of... Uh, now, you can tell what kind of school of magic it is? Yeah. Okay, um, this arrow bears traces of necromancy. Great. Weak, weak My traces. My school of magic. <laughs> Weak traces of necromancy. Uh, you're not entirely sure what it would do, um, but you can see this faint aura of like this strange, dark, purplish energy kind of just worming around the shaft of the arrow and the the uh, head of the arrow that's embedded in the tree. It doesn't Fantastic. seem to affect the parchment that's wrapped around it, though. Right. Well, I've got one way of doing this, if anyone would mind standing aside. What are you going to do? Simple. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Don't <laughs> worry. Well, subtlety so, so isn't exactly your MO either. Of course it isn't, but, you know, I don't have to be close to this thing to just grab something off of it, especially if it's smelling right. of the bones. It's just gonna try and extract parchment from my arrow. Okay. Um, so, uh, you uh, deftly with your um, invisible uh, telekinetic hand unwrap, uh, just unroll the parchment from the arrow. Uh, on it, in a scratchy looking handwriting, reads a message. It's written in common and it says, The last laugh. You'll be next, Val Klonda. Last laugh. Next. Val Klonda? It, it, it seems like it's a name or something. Let me, let me write it. It's V A. L, that's really hard to read. Hang <laughs> on. Sorry, I, I still have it. It selects orange for me by default because uh. that's. Uh, it's spelled Val. Klondar. Val Klondar. Let, let this just be in the record in like the stream. I nailed that. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, no, same. I'm feeling so smug. Except right. I threw an apostrophe between Val and Klondar because I was like, huh? It, it needs, like, yeah, it needs those... A fantasy apostrophe. Gratuitous <laughs> apostrophes. Yeah, it's like, it's something like, yeah, it's fantasy, I guess. I was like, yeah, okay. All right. Uh, and that seems to be all there is to see around here. Val Klondar. <laughs> well, mm. uh... What are we going to do with them? And Morgana points at the skull. Ah, uh, well, uh, would it be possible to yank that arrow out of the tree using Mage Hand? Yes. He uh, extracts the arrow. Punk. Uh, you pull the arrow out. Um, it. You can feel like the vibrations of your Mage Hand holding something with an enchantment of some kind on it, but it doesn't seem to harm you at all. Uh, and as you pull out the arrow, the skull just uh, flops onto the ground and uh, is still. Not the whole bloody lot, but this might be useful. Who wants the skull? <laughs> Who wants the skull? Oh, first we had the ear people. take the skull. You can't take the skull. Why not? Because it's unhygienic for starters. No one else is using it. <laughs> that belongs to somebody. You can't just take somebody's skull. They're not using it anymore. 
It's a bad effect. Can you... It could be a fashionable bowl. I'm not saying it, it couldn't it doesn't be useful. Look like it what I'm saying work. is it's not. I'm not saying it couldn't be useful. I'm saying that it's disrespectful. <laughs> Donna, can you like make a hole in the ground, please, and we'll put the skull in the ground? Ah, uh, sure enough, I suppose. But you're lecturing <sighs> someone who tore out uh, the throat with <laughs> of a thief their teeth. That this yeah, is disrespectful. So she's got to eat. <laughs> got to eat. <laughs> Only the person I kills. I just want to note that for future reference, and he just makes a hole in the ground and tosses the skull in. Uh, those are, Morgana yeah. makes a... <laughs> Morgana kind of goes like, uh, like, throws her hands in the air like, It was for eating! <laughs> there was nothing good on it for eating! <laughs> I can't imagine! I'm not talking about my new friend, I'm talking about the guy I ate <laughs> when I was hungry oh. because I killed him and I earned that right! <laughs> I can't you imagine why the people in the stream have named you guys the evil party. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at that earlier and I was like, yeah, but that's not the truth, though. <laughs> yeah. I resent any. We're, we're all arbitrarily not evil. <laughs> the yeah, sheets, I was going to say, after, uh, after Gunnar does the very helpful and unceremonious burying of the skull I murmur a quick prayer because it feels like the right thing to do Requiesca and Bucky <laughs> 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 he was, was going to turn to Hauser and say you're a holy man aren't you? technically a holy man on a ship technically <laughs> we're a ways out from the sea lad uh, burial in the sea of the ground how about that <laughs> That doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, worth a shot. Morgana... Suppose you're going without the well, clerics, right? <laughs> while they're yelling, if... Morgana will step forward, look at the mound of dirt and go, whoever you were, may you find peace and not eaten. Looks very pointedly over at Gunnar. There, better. Uh, yeah, works enough. <laughs> if you were wanting me to do a burial right, I'm afraid I don't do those. Yeah. <sighs> He just kind of shrugs and starts walking. <laughs> Cause the... Actually, that is a fair point. I imagine that people, worshippers of Umberly, are more likely to be dumped into the ocean. Yeah. As, like... <laughs> they are the ones that are more likely to be buried at sea. <laughs> mm. uh, so, uh, what are you going to do with the arrow, and what do you want to do next? Um, The arrow is just mm. going to hold on to. Hold on to how? Um, preferably by putting it into his bag without touching it. Okay. Uh, so you, um... Oh, oh wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 Let's hear it! I'm gonna, I'll, I'll cast Identify on the arrow first. Oh, smart. See what it... uh, very clever. Okay, uh, you cast Identify and, um... This is interesting. It seems like uh, anyone, the, the first person who touches, the, or anyone actually, who handles this arrow will have nightmares. But uh, while they will have nightmares for the next 10 day, and by the way, for those of you unfamiliar with the Forgotten Realms, they do the metric system on weeks here, so instead of weeks, they have 10 days, A which are 10 minutes. days long. Um, thanks, Ed Greenwood. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, for the next 10 day after touching this arrow, you will be plagued by nightmares. But if you are faced with undead creatures, they will only attack you reluctantly as a last target that they would choose. <laughs> Wait, and that means Ren touched the arrow while well, she had to identify it. Yeah. Uh, yep. uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> oh having God. touched this arrow, you suddenly <laughs> make the realization of, oh shit, I'm going to have nightmares for the next 10 days. But, oh, oh good, if we face any undead, they'll attack me last. 
Oh. Good good use dear. of ten minutes. God. <laughs> I scowl slightly and grabbing a piece of leather out of my bag, I snatch I wrap the arrow up and shove it in one of my pockets and say, Nobody else might want to be touching that for a while. Like just ugh. You uh want to And then I start then I start I was gonna say then I start cursing to myself in Gnomish. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to say Gnomish is even higher pitched and squeakier than Ren's regular speaking voice. It's got like and it's like it's it's horrifying and amusing at the same time. It sounds like a really angry out. squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine so. Morgana will put a hand out and just go, it must be bad. I've only heard her say those a handful of times. <laughs> and then she's like then she just makes eye contact. People died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mind giving us the four one one and what the hell you just touched? <laughs> oh, right. This one little arrow gives you nightmares for ten days. <laughs> but on the plus side, if we meet something gone dead, it's going to attack all of you guys first. Oh, wonderful. How's that? Uh, actually, yeah. pretty useful, all things considered. <laughs> Since that rock. I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. I know, but at the same time, I like sleeping. So, you know, this kind of sucks for anybody in the vicinity, because I scream in my sleep. So enjoy that, everybody. Ah. Uh, Morgana just... <laughs> Morgana reaches out and pats her gently on the shoulder and just goes, Don't worry, Ren. I still have my earplugs. <laughs> 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 and Gunner just says, I'll make some of the wax. It's no problem. <laughs> oh my god, you've got a solution to your problem! Next time, don't touch things. <laughs> well, how else am I supposed to know what it does? That's how the spell works! <laughs> Besides, touching things is inevitably something interesting happens! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I remembered that that spell was touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Well, uh, right. <laughs> well this has been a fine use of everyone's time, I see. <laughs> In our waking hour, is I suppose we have a rock to check out? <laughs> Shall we go to the rock? Hi, right, let's. Okay. Where, um... there, where there might be weird unliving creatures. Uh, right, I'll just, uh... I'll just move Barkus over here since he's not with you and whisper and everyone else can be uh, on actual squares. Oh wait, now let me make sure that it, it's actually the correct tokens. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter. I just need to make sure that Morgana has the ability to see. There we go. <laughs> That's important. Save changes. And uh, now move you over. There we go. Uh, so after a long wander, uh, just passing briefly around the outskirts of the town, yeah, you're down to the south of the map. Um, Hi, everybody. Or rather, technically, since it's oh. another one where the map's on its side for some reason, you're technically at the east of the map. Or to the southeast. Um, I can only see my token, and everything else is black. I have oh, fallen into yeah. the void. <laughs> You've got me again. Uh, has sight. Uh, uh, Is there a source uh, of illumination? Because everything's in dark vision. Right? Oh, hang yeah. on. Be why I forgot to add a, a token to be the sun, like I had last time. Is this like globally I think... illuminated or? No, if I globally illuminate it, it'll illuminate the entire like map. Uh, so let me just paste in a sun here. Is that better? Hell yeah, the sun. Uh, Why is the sun setting in the south? Can anyone Hello? tell me how I, you know, the um, our little icon, not our our icons, but uh, where I'll say Kate and Corey and Lizzie. How do I get rid of those? Because it, I'm on a very small screen at the moment. Uh, settings go oh, down to yeah. the bottom of the settings menu. You can see player, video, and avatar size. Set that to Ooh. names only. You can also Thank move them you. out of the way, but yeah. Has has that fire made the icon that I've added made it so that there's light now? Yes. yes. I see. Okay. 
Okay, so you find yourselves uh, after a long walk through the countryside. Uh, let me just change the music a bit. Um, here we go. Um, so uh, you go for a nice wander through the countryside. Now it's kind of warm weather after that weird snowstorm we had earlier. It is really strange weather at the moment. Uh, and uh, after wandering past the town, you find this large hill on its own, and uh, you come across Lance Rock. It is a narrow 25-foot menhir of bare grey rock that juts eastward at a 60-degree angle. So it's this weird, big um, piece of... Uh, it, it's grey granite, which doesn't match with the surrounding limestone at all. It really does look like it was just dropped here from the sky, like, on top of this hill. Um, uh, now, around the... Uh, at the foot of the stone, uh, you find a ravine, and it's choked with, like, brush and brambles and things, and uh, it's... but there is a trail into this, uh, into this area, and you find a neatly painted sign, and it reads in common, Come no closer, lest you catch the disfiguring plague that afflicts me, the Lord of Lance Rock. Wonderful. Well. Uh, you see that the trail continues down to a cave mouth, uh, and there's another warning sign here with the same message as the other one. Well, this uh, looks nice. It's promising in all the wrong ways. Well, don't suppose we figure there might be something here, so, uh. <laughs> I'll use my like dwarven stone cutting yeah, to get say... double proficiency on my history check on stone work. <laughs> does this... yeah. I was gonna say, does this nice. mean anything for our stone cutting? <laughs> Let's do this. History checks. Oh, wow, that makes it, what's my uh, efficiency? Plus two, so 17. Nice, wow. Um, yeah, 16. Aye, right. that be a rock. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. Um, Ren applaud sarcastically from behind you. I mean, the, um, your, your knowledge of rock means that you, you're aware that this, um, the men here that you passed is not natural for this region, and the only way you can imagine it arriving here is either some huge tree creature dropping it from the sky, or magic being involved somehow. Um, because why else would people move just a huge piece of stone and then do nothing with it, just dump it on top of the hill at a weird angle? Um, the cave ahead of you appears to be natural. Um, but it looks as though it may have been like uh, touched up uh, at some point in the past, like uh, excavated out of it. <laughs> well, I thought that dragon story was a crock, but uh, what do you know? <laughs> Turns out red larch tourism lives another day. <laughs> <laughs> See, in my head, all I've got now is that guy with the crazy hair just going, aliens. aliens. Folks, you're not <laughs> going to believe this. Somehow, magic's involved. Oh, boy. That wasn't already obvious. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Uh, I'll cast the first stone. <laughs> okay. Uh, it appears to be the mouth of a cave. Uh, nice. You can see... Um, ahead of you, it kind of opens out a bit, and uh, yeah, you can't see what's around the corner right now. I suppose we ought to keep an eye out in case there's any traps. But I will. Oh, go ahead. <clears throat> I will recast Shillelagh because that probably finished. Woo! Getting ready to beat some people up with a magic stick. 
Woohoo! Always. Well, to the mouth of the cave we go. All right. Yep. Okay. Uh, Gunnar, I think you can see. Can you see a corpse there? Why, yes, yes, I can. Okay. Uh, there is a human corpse lying on the ground here, dressed in leather breeches. Ah, that's a bad time to go streaking. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't know if the other two can see the corpse, but I can, so I know what he's talking about. <laughs> nope, I can't see it. I can. Uh, Gunner adds dead man around the corner. <laughs> yeah, the the inside of the cave is quite dark. That's right. Uh, Neither of you can see a damn thing, can you? I can see fine in the dark! Oh, right. Well, it's just you. What? So. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the corpse of a human male is sprawled here on his back, wearing only leather breeches. Uh, Gunner... I know that the... I know that the icon is wearing a shirt, but just use your imagination and pretend he's not. <laughs> Morgana and to Apparently that was terribly important to the game writers, <laughs> that he's not wearing a shirt, but I wasn't going to make a whole new token for a guy without shirt. Oh, well, you, but we'll use it so much. <laughs> uh, we would find light. ways to use it so much. Who is casting light and on what object? Gunner is casting light on Morgana's staff, just like before. Okay, jolly good. Uh, so that would be... Um, oh god, I worked this out last time on the last map. Let me just double check how I managed to make the light spell work properly. Uh, 20 bright, 40 dim, I think, right? Uh, no, 40 and then 20, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because right, no. it, it does it weirdly. It's like total light distance and then how long until it turns to dim. Ah, okay. Which seems like the wrong way around. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Lovely. Uh, Brightness. Okay. Right. Hey, hey, Ren. Hey, Ren. Go touch it. <laughs> <laughs> go Ren to get shrugs and start stomping off ahead just because. Because. And he's gonna go ahead and just... <laughs> she got challenged. Yeah. Oh shit! My glasses just snapped. Amazing. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Uh, give me about <laughs> two seconds to fetch a new pair of glasses. What did oh, no. you do? I just like adjusted them and they snapped in half. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, my god. god. So hard. Amazing. Yes. To have that kind of power, man. Corey's secretly just super mad at all of us, and <laughs> has just been suppressing it this whole time. Oh, uh, this whole the smashes our glasses. The chaotic alignment is really getting to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Uh... Are people seeing black screen or something? No, I think that was just before. Okay, that's good, good. As long as people can see things. I well, did I can see things on the on the yeah. image. I have good, I think it's the one for my other glasses All right. glasses, so yeah, I'm just gonna have um, to do this like weird monocle thing for the time being. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure you look very distinguished, it's fine. It was literally like Daffa. a perfect snap in half, that's amazing. Have you not got any duct tape or any any tape or any kind of... I have a, a roll of electrical somewhere, but I can't... Oh, here it is. Here's some tape. Alright, let's do this. Hey! Perfect. Hey. He's Harry Potter in his glasses. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> I feel like I've this never is so appropriate for playing Dungeons and Dragons. I have never had this happen. <laughs> have you taken off your glasses? <laughs> I also literally just had the thought, I have a mending spell. Wait, no, 
That's in the that's, game. That's, <laughs> that's in full the game. stop, everybody. I broke my glasses again. Um, hang on. Oh, oh, yeah. Rig this up so I can have sight. I feel like this music is way too intense now for Kari fixes his glasses. Like a no, it's <laughs> glasses. Very they snapped it too. My glasses. Fixing his glasses. Yeah, that really is what this moment is right now. I'm just like hurriedly attempting to apply tape to my snapped glasses. It's like, if you don't fix your glasses in 30 seconds, this bus will explode. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too late I've for us then. I've watched that show. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I've just literally never had this happen to me just, before. Just to show where people get arbitrarily timed challenges for arbitrarily horrible <laughs> consequences. Oh yeah, and it's just like, well, yeah. yes, you're fucked. Okay. If you can't name the capital of Liberia in the next 20 seconds, we'll shoot this cat. Okay, <laughs> I, I have... They really ran low on ideas for the next Saw sequel. Like, they're just, like, <laughs> scraping the bottle of the barrel on it. I have you can't put very 20 marshmallows in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> badly <laughs> taped glasses sounds like a band name. It does. <laughs> I just wish I could find the electrical because that would be better. Whatever. Scotch tape will have to anyway. go. Electrical tape is definitely your first album. Yes. <laughs> it's cool tapes! Oh. <laughs> oh. And we're back to where we started. Yeah. Hey. Alright, let's do this. Dead body. So anyway, there's a corpse. <laughs> You're in a cave and there's a corpse, and I'm going up to the corpse. Okay. You Can go I to investigate the corpse. The corpse? Okay, uh, what do you want to do with the corpse? Uh, okay, uh, you're just having a look at it? Uh, trying to maybe sort... I'm trying to CSI this shit. Okay, I'm are best you... I'm trying to suss out ca cause of death. Are you CSI touching the corpse? Or just looking I, at it? I am looking very closely. Thankfully, being as short as I am, I am quite close to the ground already. Mm. So, <laughs> just All trying right. to get a good not touching it yet. Alright, uh, corpse, uh, looks like, um, it, it died by some kind of, um, you have a look and you see that it looks like his, uh, throat was slit with, uh, some, some kind of a small blade, probably a dagger. Uh, time of death, you'd say, um, a good few days ago. Detective Gnome, good job. Just saying, no, this is like definitely um, CSI. I'm resisting the urge to it, put my goggles on and go, yeah! Also, it yes, looks so like yes. this isn't where he died. He died somewhere else and has been dragged and deliberately placed here. So it's a it. morning. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wonderful. Well, I suppose we have to keep going further, shouldn't we? How fresh is he, do we know? I uh, died days. a good few days. days ago, yeah. Uh... Well, we have a dead body that's a warning. We have a bunch of signs that are a warning. Is Morgana considering it? <laughs> that sounds, no. That's like the worst kind of age It doesn't smell meat. good. He is, it does he not is, smell appetizing. It smells he only slightly better than ogre. He is exsanguinated, and the blood is half the fun. <laughs> God damn. This is amazing. Our party. <laughs> you are entirely welcome. <laughs> it smells only slightly better than that ogre, I'm supposing. Okay. Uh, Alright, you can see uh, in this area uh, a round, high ceilinged cave opens here. It has two narrow exits, one leading north, the other south. A flat boulder uh, sits in the centre of the cave. It's about six feet across, eight feet long, and three feet high. Dark stains cover the top. Um, ooh, uh, hang on. Um, uh, Ren. Oh, shit. Dexterity yeah. saving throw. 
Oh, yeah. no. Oh, oh boy, the first right. trap falls. You suddenly hear a creaking noise above you Womp. as um, a box full of rocks is pushed off a ledge from above you. That would be a fail. Uh, you're going to take mm. 2d6 blood 